Now, I tell you what, this is a staggering figure. Almost half of all Australians are wasting $1.9 billion on so-called zombie insurance. It's happening every year, people paying premiums for policies they simply don't need. Director of Financial Planning at Deakin University, Adrian Rafferty, is with us now with some tips on how we can save. Good morning to you. G'day, Deb. So it's a lot of money being wasted, but zombie insurance, what is it? What does it mean? Yeah, as well, we're not um, talking about insurance for zombies. We're actually talking about these superannuation uh, funds that actually have these insurance policies that people are locked into, and they, they're locked into it through their default, but they can't claim it for it at all when they're ill or injured. So they're actually dead in the water for you. Now, this comes about when you may have two or three or four super funds. You move from one job to another. You're locked into those funds with the, with the insurance policies. So when you try to claim for insurance protection, you think you may have two or three times worth of insurance cover, but it really only can cover up to 75%. You may actually also be in between jobs as well. Mm. So if in between jobs, it actually doesn't define past the definition also of, of income protection insurance as well. So you left it paying all this money for a superannuation for the insurance policies, but you're not getting anything at all for it. And we know there's lots of other sort of fees and charges that nip into the bottom line of your insurance when you and your superannuation when you want to perhaps retire, but how much can this sort of zombie insurance then impact that bottom line? Well, the Productivity Commission, they came out this week and they, they this year and they compared uh, uh, people who paid insurance in, within their superannuation versus those that don't, $128,000 over a lifetime, and it's about 28% on the average balance of about $600,000. Which is a lot of money when you want to actually enjoy the life that you want to lead when you're in your retirement years. So what's the advice? Should we cancel insurance then within our superannuation funds overall? Do we need it? Well, like zombies, it's really easy, really, really easy kill is to actually just get rid of your insurance cover within your super funds, consolidate all your super into one. However, do that at your absolute peril because some people are actually underinsured. There's a lot, huge underinsurance here in Australia. So you want to make sure you have adequate cover. Check it with your insurance needs. Check what your commitments are. More importantly, talk to an insurance specialist or a financial planner because a lot of people who get thrown into these default funds do not talk to a specialist at all. And this is where they get been caught out paying an extra $1.9 billion a year. So how much, you, you say, an adequate amount, but what is adequate? Is there sort of a, a rule of thumb for what we should look for in terms of insurance within our super funds? Yeah, look, there's a lot of different things. There's three main types. There's life, income and trauma disability cover. For life insurance, you want to make sure you have enough to pay off all your debts. Also look after your family, your husband, wife, kids and like, so they're adequately provided for. For your income, up to 75% of your income level, so you want to make sure of that. Probably really important disability cover. A lot of people think they're young and healthy, they're fine, but there's a lot of tradies out there who mm. get injured all the time and they're without work, and so they really need to make sure they have adequate cover there and really look after it. Really, really important. Can't stress it enough. Talk to a specialist, an insurance specialist, a financial planner to guide you along the way. Don't just be, leave, leave it all assuming you can get it all yourself by having everything locked into a default super fund. Yeah, fantastic advice. Really important to kind of get your head around it. We think super and we think, oh, Oh, it's not going to affect me now, but it can have a huge impact. Adrian, thank you so much for shedding a light on it this morning.